south, for example, where Tundams is, because they are a bit lower, I reckon they're going to be a lot colder. So I wonder if these guys did it on purpose. I wouldn't be surprised. But look <laughs> at that fluffy skin. All the hair is piled up, so it's a process that's called pilo erection, whereby they raise their hair on their body just to be able to trap the heat that's being uh, irradiated by their own body as they metabolize what they're eating. So it's always a way of using their their own skin to act as an extra jersey, just to make sure that they keep warm on these cold mornings. Beautiful face. Hello. How are you? I would say all of these boys around here, they're probably around four or years old or maybe older. You see all of their horns. Ah, ah you're an old friend. The half-horned impala. So funny, we know that this guy, we've seen them all the way in Twin Dams and now he's all the way up in the northern boundary. Interesting to see you. I do think it's the same. I've seen too many of them miss missing horns. Now I wonder why they're listening so intently in that direction. Oh my goodness, it seems like you guys are actually some veterans. Now the one on the left, that Impala, if you can see, he's also seemed to have some old wounds on his skin. Oh, okay, maybe. Shame. Seems like something w has definitely gone for him. And I'm gonna say maybe an impala, uh, an impala, a lion or a leopard just by judging of the, the amount of lack of hair there. So it seems like somebody had quite a big wound and it's healed up nicely, but it's going to take a little while longer for the hair to start growing around there. Hey, boy, well done on surviving. It almost seems like somebody tried to grab him with two paws on there and maybe try and pull him down and he got away. I'm going to have a bit of a closer look with the binoculars as well, see if perhaps there's anything else we can spot on him. I must say, despite those wounds, he seems to be in quite a decent condition. He doesn't seem to be too skinny, and I think, well, he, there is shows of stress and maybe a bit of, um, what's the word for it? Yeah, stress would be a good word. Then he he's not doing 100%, but he is on the recovery process in the recovery way, and that's a very massive one. Can you imagine when it was open? I'm sure it was quite painful for it, but it's all closed now. And I think from here, unless he stumbles upon some more predators, I think he will probably be all right.